Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fotland's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. It's finally time. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion at Grander Field is this month. Don't tell me you forgot, Teach. You're kidding. Didn't Rayo or Sedith fill you in? Guess I have to do everything myself around here. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is one of the Academy's annual traditions. It's a huge mock battle between the three rival houses. But you know all about rivalry battles, Professor. There was one right after you got here, remember? I hear the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field, far away from Garrig Mach. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. It's a three-way battle that relies heavily on strategy. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Hey, Claude, what about Professor Manuela? Do you think she'll be able to join us despite her injuries? I'm afraid she's sitting this one out, as is Professor Hanneman. As my persistent rival will not be present, it only goes to follow that I must also sit out this year's battle. Now leave me be, Claude. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. If it isn't our own Professor Manuela, all things considered, you're looking well. Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. Does that mean you really won't be joining us for the battle? Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily. Oh. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. monastery is more dangerous than I expected. It's likely that our foes have infiltrated the ranks of the teachers. And there may be others of questionable character about as well. If you ask me, there is something amiss about that old man, Tomas. Professor, do you have a second? It's about Monica. Does she seem... off to you? She was in prison for a long while, but... she seems to have recovered almost instantly. 
and she's been bizarrely cheerful. You see what I mean? I wonder if she's straining to seem happy just to make people comfortable. Hmm, and why is she so close to Edelgard anyway? The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is a free-for-all contest among the three classes. If you are victorious, the Archbishop will no doubt present you with a reward. <laughs> Just what I thought you'd say. Along with Flame, we found another female student who went missing last year. But now the combat professor Yuritsa has vanished. His origin begged many questions, so there were plenty of objections to his appointment here. He is apparently from House Frim of the Empire, but he was adopted from another family, or so they say. Anyway, there hasn't been much good to be said about House Frim in recent decades. <laughs> what do you say, Edel? Shall we meet up in the library later to... Oh, hello, Professor! Do you need something? I'm a little busy at the moment. Sorry, Professor. I've got a lot of questions to ask Adel here. Since I couldn't graduate last year, I really want to make sure I can do so this year. No, thanks. I tried it once, and... Ugh, gross. I don't even really like to eat fish, let alone catch and gut them. Besides, who can think about fishing right now? The battle of the eagle and lion is coming up soon. Feeling confident? That's the spirit! in the Empire, right? I wonder how we'll get there. I thought I heard that there's no path that goes straight from the Monastery to the Empire. Oh, perhaps we'll travel through Alliance territory. Yes, I see. From the east, we would go... Mm, there. Ah, yes, that must be it. for a mock battle? This is serious business, and there's a reward to be had as well. I'd really like to win this thing. Everyone else seems to be raring to go too. We're all looking to you to guide us, Teach. Excuse me, Professor. Um, do you think it would reflect poorly on me if I chose not to take part in the battle of the eagle and lion? Well, I don't really want to leave the monastery. I'm not very confident, but I'll try my best. I'm just absolutely exhausted. I swear to you, Professor, every month we're worked harder than the month before. I had imagined the Academy as a chance to possibly relax before our lives began in earnest. 
After graduating, we'll enter into noble society, which means contending with all the intrigues and dramas that entails. I want to just postpone life for a bit. Fish, nap under a tree, skip out on lectures and... Well, not your lectures, of course, Professor. tournament before the battle of the eagle and lion. At first I couldn't figure out what they were thinking, but the fish are especially tasty this time of year, so I don't question it anymore. Have you had any, Professor? You'd better eat up before it's all gone. Hi, Professor. Want to know something? Rhonda is in the territory of House Burgreys in the Empire. That's right next to my home, the region of House Varley. Oh, no. What if... what if my parents come to watch? Ah! Really? Are you sure? You wouldn't say that if you weren't completely sure, right? Professor, as Seth hath told you, we're to have a fishing tournament. Given the events of the last month, I believe this is just the sort of distraction we need, staff and student alike. I'm afraid I'm not one for such festivities. I do enjoy a spot of fishing, though. I believe it best that I stick to quietly fishing by myself. Fodlin is big. It's not as big as Almira is, but it's still pretty big. Travel? I don't know. Never thought about it, I guess. Why would we go all the way to Grander Field? It's idiocy to travel that far. It may be a tradition, but it takes forever to get there and is exhausting. So pointless. I guess there's nothing to be done about it. Even by you, Professor. <laughs> Maybe. Welcome to the Monastery Fishing Tournament. You look confused. Didn't Sabbath tell you about it? Just catch whatever fish Flame requests. Show any fish you catch to Flame. I have a favor to ask. <laughs> oh, so you're taking part. Uh, how would you feel about a little friendly competition? Catch the same kind of fish as me and we'll compare the two. Biggest wins. <laughs> oh, are you taking part in the fishing tournament? Let's put your skills to the test. Whoever can catch the biggest one of these fish wins. Are you taking part as well? Why don't we have some fun with this? A little contest. If you catch a fish like this, come show it to me. Whoever catches the bigger fish will be the victor. Professor. drink too then how about a little friendly competition let's see who can catch the biggest fish there's no way I'll lose so you are joining the fishing tournament 
That's great, but you don't stand a chance against me. I just caught this beauty. I bet you can't catch a bigger one of the same kind. Yes. I am happy that you will have participation. Maybe you and I both can have a small contest with each other? We will both have catching of the same fish type and do comparisons. Whoever... I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. Hmm. But they haven't been biting. What shouting? Everyone told me I was too loud, so I've been using my quiet voice. Will you be taking part two, Professor? Uh, I must admit I am quite excited. I cannot recall the type of fish I was hoping to dine on. So, if you do manage to catch a fish, do you mind bringing it for me to see? <sighs> what a shame. Have you thought about entering? Maybe you and I could have a little friendly competition. I just caught this fish here. Why don't you try catching a bigger one of the same type? Do you have time for a request? Pardon me. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Young Monica disappeared last year. I thought she had simply run along home. But it turns out she was kidnapped. I can't believe it. How awful it must have been for the poor thing. They say her personality has completely changed. But at least she seems more cheerful than before. Grateful to be alive, perhaps? No. Good deal. Hey, Professor. How's it going? I'd love to catch up, but I'm... Hey, how about a flavor? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hello there. This one, yes? I thank you. 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 Return soon. Hello there. This one, yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. You have a good eye. A pleasure. 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 You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. You have a good eye. A pleasure. Do you have a good eye? A pleasure. You have a good eye. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business. Come again. Pardon me. Uh. Indeed. I received a rare letter from my father recently. He said that he is praying for the Golden Deer House to emerge victorious. Insistently praying. My father attended the Officer's Academy and won a glorious victory in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I think he is quite proud of that, even to this day. I suppose that shows how great an honor it truly is. Right. You know, the Empire used to control all of Fodlan. But after the Civil War, the Northern region split off and became the Kingdom. Later, the eastern part of the kingdom seceded to become the Alliance. There are three powers today, but a thousand years ago, we were all united as one. Even now, among the nobles of the Empire, there are some who dream of reunifying Fodlan. <laughs> when 
When you feel that first refreshing breeze upon your face, you know it is almost time for the battle of the eagle and lion. Grander Field is within the Empire, but the path there from the monastery necessitates passing through Alliance territory. Fodland's biggest river, the Aramid River, flows along the border between the Empire and the Alliance. You will have to cross one of the largest bridges upon that river, the Great... Fishing tournament, huh? Sounds fun, but not as fun as reeling in the ladies. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. The most important thing right now is preparing for the battle of the eagle and lion. After all, the ladies love nothing more than a winner. And around here, there's no bigger game. I knew you'd understand, Professor. I need a favor. Flane and Monica, was it? I'm glad they were returned safe and sound. Did you want something? Hey! The Death Knight's true identity. Personally, I don't think it could be Yuritsa. He taught me swordsmanship. He said I had talent and the potential to get pretty strong. He was a little scary, of course. Sedith, that stubborn goat. Holding a fishing tournament now? Just last month, he looked like death warmed over. tournament now are they just giving up on the battle of the eagle and lion you're not condoning this right are you what if you've got all this free time shouldn't you be spending it on your students Battle of the Eagle and Lion, a prize is awarded to the winner by the Archbishop herself. It's a three-way battle, so you can't waste too much time just observing. You have to jump right in there. You have to be proactive and defeat the most opponents. Do that, and it's quite possible the Archbishop will recognize how strong you are. Ah, great memories. I was a student. Professor, have you heard the rumor about the Goddess Tower? Well, there's an annual ball here the month after next, during the ethereal moon. They say if a boy and a girl wish for something together at the Goddess Tower on that night, the Goddess herself will grant it. I don't know where the rumor started, but it's a great story, isn't it? Hello there. I'm so sorry. I was lost in thought. It's very kind of you to be concerned, but I promise that I'm fine. I would the Death Knight's true identity. Could it actually be Professor Yoritsa? Favor to ask.
Since we were little, Ingrid's always gotten this odd look in her eye when someone brings up food. If you've heard, but Flane is very special. Her blood carries a rare crest. Oh, the lengths to which she could advance my research, if only I were able to study her. If only it weren't for Sedith's strict orders. He protects his sister with unusual zeal. I dislike it, but I agree. The time I would spend begging him and accomplishing nothing would be better... I always thought I was pretty good, you know? Then I'd go and get stabbed. But my opponent was the Death Knight, so I figure I did pretty well to only get stabbed. I wonder if it's true that he is actually Yuritsa. Whoever he is, I'm going to make him pay. It turns out that when I get stabbed, I get really mad. I'm not going to let him get the better of me again. Yes. How are the recent happenings at the monastery? There is something going. How are preparations for the battle of the eagle and lion going? Hmm? Fishing? <laughs> Taking it easy, are you? The recent happenings at the monastery. There is something going on behind the scenes here. I've been commissioned to investigate as well. As I've already mentioned, this month I'm off to the kingdom. You be on your guard, okay? <laughs> uh, perhaps I've gotten in your head too much. I won't go dying. I've stayed alive this long, after all. Of course. The situation last month was dire indeed. The students endured great hardship. I hope you were able to put all of that behind you, so that you may focus on this month's assignment. A most reassuring response. I trust that your class is in good hands. I look forward to seeing your skills on display at the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I have something to ask of you. I have not even told you what my request is yet. Well, fine. Flane has been through an awful lot this past month. To make up for that, I have decided to give her whatever she wants. I asked her what she would like, and she expressed a desire for a feast of fish. Since I am sure the students would be interested, I have decided to hold a fishing tournament here at the monastery. I have left all of the specifics to Shamir. Please, enter and put in your best effort. Thank you. 
Buzzer. Looks like you've been doing some fishing. Let's see what you've got. Wow, that's a spectacular fish. You win. I can't compete. <laughs> ah, you already got your hands on some fish. Let's compare them. Oh, I lost. Is there anything you can't do? So, you've caught something, have you? Let us pit our fish against each other. Alas, your fish is clearly grander than mine. I suppose you win. This... <laughs> Did you catch something? Let me see what you got. No way! That fish looks bigger and tastier. I can't believe I lost. Let's see what you got. I... I lost? But how? Uh, I guess I underestimated you, Professor. Show me the fish, so we can see whose has the biggest size. Your fish has way more size. I have had losing. I mean, I have lost. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Oh, you've caught one. Let me see. Nice, you beat me. This is for you. Oh, you caught one. Yes, yes, yay. Oh, this is it. This is the fish I have been pining for. I am so pleased. I shall cook it up immediately. Thanks. I guess that's it. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Yes. This created more fun than I have experienced in a long time. Did you also have the fun? I wasn't expecting much, but this tournament was a lot of fun. The fishing tournament's over already? Guess it's time for my personal eating tournament then. Best part is, no losing. Hey. All that's left now is to eat it. Should I smoke it? Stew it? Ugh, I'm drooling already. <laughs> I think that's the end of the fishing tournament. I suppose it's time to prepare for the battle of the eagle and lion. Fishing was a nice change of pace, but now it's time to focus on the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Hey. The fishing tournament is over. I heard you did some fishing, and that Flane is happy. Ever since the tournament, the kitchen is completely overtaken with fish. 
The cooks cannot keep up. Fishing tournament. I heard you did. Yes. Hey. I guess that. I still have. Practice. I hear that you put. I hear that you participated in the fishing tournament. I appreciate you taking the time. Yes. How oh, the recent half I've been com you beyond your. Closing in on expertise. I'd like to ask you something. That's right. Professor. You know, what are you talking about? Well, if you... Claude did such a... You didn't do so bad yourself. This will help keep me alive. Technique never betrays. Yeah, I'm doing it.
I did pretty well. I actually passed? I have success! Hey, Professor. 
You're looking lovely as ever. Are you working today? You gotta take a day sometime. Get out in the world and have some fun. Right? Sometimes you gotta forget all the things you ought to do and focus on what you'd rather do. Hey, we should go get something to eat. My treat. What, I can't invite my professor to dinner without it being a scam? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, fine, you got me. I need to ask a favor, and I wanted a way to work up the courage to ask you. There are thieves in my family's territory. I was wondering if you'd go with me to drive them off. You remember the thief leader you fought at Conan Tower, yeah? Yes, Miklon. He was the oldest son of House Gautier. What's left of his band of thieves is causing trouble in Gautier territory. My father has asked me to come home and put down those murderous jerks. But he's asked for me to come alone. No knights, no backup of any sort. That's crazy, right? And the way my father is, he probably has some other motive that I'll never know. Maybe he just wants me to get some more experience in battle. A crazy way to suggest it, though. Anyway, I'm not going alone, no matter what he asks. I'm going to ask some of the others in our class to help, too. But none of us have your experience. If you'd come with us, I'd be grateful. Great! I'll talk to the others and see who's in. Thanks, Professor.
Okay, we've got the thieves covered on both sides. Some of the thieves are still carrying what they stole, so we have a chance to get it back. Gotta be careful, though. They'll run off faster than a nobleman's daughter if we just rush in. Target the strongholds to cut off their escape routes. Stay focused. That is that. My father is offering a reward for every thief and rogue we take out. The more you beat, the more you get. Just remember, you gotta take them down fast. They'll bolt as soon as they're hurt. Take the strongholds and we cut off their escape route. Who, me? You lost to me? I'm on it. Leave it to me. Ready. Let's get to it. That takes care of that. Ready and willing. I'm not sticking around here to get slaughtered by a bunch of stuck-up jerks like you. Life doesn't o Okay, that'll do it. This exit route is blocked off. Very good. Now let's keep cool and take out the other strongholds. Ready any time. I guess it worked out. I stand ready. I got this. Nice try. Easy. What's next? It's so obvious.
That's one more stronghold taken, and one more escape route blocked. There are still some strongholds left. Professor, which should we go for first? Another escape route blocked. We're nearly done. Take out those thieves and capture that last stronghold. Golden deer for you. Seems I prevailed. Luck, it's fate. Ready? It 
Could get rough. I just worked harder. It's over. You didn't give it your all. I hurt you. That helps. Good try. Too easy. You were outmatched. Should I have held back? I knew you had it in you. Magnificent. Appreciate that. Yes. You underestimated me. That's the last of them. Great work, everyone. Thieves everywhere. I can't believe this is what the world is coming to. At least we've restored the peace here, even if it's only for a little while.
Professor, thank you for your help. We drove off the thieves and got a reward from my father. Job well done, eh? Although, I don't know how to feel about this particular reward. I guess that's why my father tasked me with his mission. He wanted me to prove myself worthy of this relic. This weapon, the Lance of Ruin, it killed my brother, and now it's mine. Not remotely. I bear the crest of Gautier. The same crest my brother wished for his whole life, but never came to possess. I suppose I am. Miklon hated me from the moment he found out I had a crest and he didn't. He was selfish and egotistical. I know it's not right to say bad things about the dead, but he earned it. Even now, I'm still cleaning up his messes. I have to wonder though, what if it was the other way around? If he had the crest and I didn't, would I be the one my father thought was worth forgetting? Or would my fate have been wholly unlike his? You're probably right, Professor. It's not like me, is it? I don't pray much, but I think I'm going to pray for those who lost their lives to the thieves tonight. And for all of us. I'm afraid there are more days like these coming our way. Vargas has always been a cold place, never very well to do. Until about 10 years ago, our region was a battlefield for the people of the Sreng region to the north. And after the late king fell, the whole kingdom became unstable. So it's no real surprise that more and more people are resorting to thievery just to survive. And there are those rumors of the current regent being too busy chasing the ladies to bother with governing. Don't worry, I get the irony. The whole damn kingdom is in decline because of nonsense like that. I'm hoping once we get Dimitri on the throne, everything will get better. Anyway, I'll leave it up to you to decide how you want to use our reward. Including the Lance of Ruin. I know I can trust you with it until you think I'm ready. And Professor, if I could, I'd still like to buy you a meal sometime. Or do you really just hate the idea of having dinner with me? Just kidding. I know you're busy. Again, though, thank you for everything, Professor. I couldn't have done it alone. Like, follow, subscribe!